Hello friends! Welcome to another lesson on triangles. You know, I bet you've been studying those parts of a triangle a lot. Maybe you even made your own drawing of them. You know, the, uh, the wonderful sides that we have, oh, and that special side, the base, um, of oh, the fantastic area that a triangle takes up, oh, those three vertices, or maybe even that altitude or height. Uh, triangles are pretty fantastic. But while you've been looking around noticing triangles, you may have noticed that there's different triangles. Many triangles look different from each other. And actually, I've got three friends for you to meet today. Uh, the first looks like this. The second looks like this. And the third looks like that. What do you notice about these triangles? What jumps out at you immediately? I can see that they all have sides. I can see the base. This, these ones are pretty obvious. Hmm. And of course, you know, the whole way around each triangle would be the perimeter. Oh, they, they've all got great altitude or height. Vertices, all of that. What is happening here? Yeah, I can hear you, actually. Um, you're, you're telling me that their sides are different. They are. These triangles are completely different by side. So let's take a look at just this first one here. This triangle is, uh, yes, it is a triangle, but is a triangle with equal sides. We actually have a name for that triangle. It's an equilateral triangle. Um, equilateral means equal. They are all the same. Oop. And uh, the second one that I pulled out, notice it has two sides the same. We call these isosceles triangles. Um, this comes from two words, iso meaning same, and skelos meaning leg. Uh, we might say that this triangle has two of the same legs. How fantastic is that? Let's move these friends over so our third friend can come out, also a triangle, but uh, that's right. None of these sides are the same. They're all completely different because it's a scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has three different sizes. Scalene comes from a word that means uneven, and this triangle is pretty uneven. So there's three types of triangles you now know. Hmm. Well, I've got a great idea for you. You might have a house full of triangles, though they're not always as apparent, are they? Hmm, be sort of hard to find sometimes. But if you're up for a challenge, grab yourself a piece of paper and squash trifold it, because there's three types of triangles and three sections on this paper. If I can get these three names of these three triangles on this paper, I could go around and find some. Where could I find a triangle? Hey, that cat has a triangle ear. I'll be right back.